everyone. So a special thanks to Kimberly and Michael for sending me uh, the fruit that I'm reviewing today. And also a thanks to my cat who has been like all up in my business <laughs> today. So uh, she might be doing the review with me. This is something that they grow at their home called a red lime. Now red lime refers to several different uh, species of citrus. But the one that they sent to me is, according to a little cheat sheet that they sent me, is uh, purported to be a cross between a Langpur lime and a kumquat. So that's kind of cool. They sent me a few different ones in different stages. Oh, hi. Yeah, look at you. No! Ah, cat! Oh, no! Great. Well, that's awesome. She broke my microphone. She broke my microphone just uh, days before my trip to Africa. So that's good. Now she's scared because she knocked it over. So I don't think she's gonna bother me anymore. Now she's sitting under the bed pouting. You okay, baby? That's my girl. You'll be fine. I know, you heard a loud noise, didn't you? Come on out. So please don't knock it over again. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, supposed to be a cross between a kumquat and a rangpuri lime. And they sent me uh, a few different uh, levels of ripeness. So unripe, it is green, and then it turns yellow. And then finally, it turns like an orange color. As you can see, it's pretty seedy. It's got a really nice smell to it though. So even though the green one is um, green on the outside, it is orange on the inside, just like the, uh, the ripe one. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna start with the ripest one and work backwards. That's good. It's got a little bit of a lime taste, as you can imagine. It also has a little bit of an, like an orange taste. I guess like kumquat. I know not everybody knows what a kumquat tastes like. They taste a little bit like tangerine, but they have a lot of flavor. They're very powerful little fruits. The sourness on the ripe red lime is not as much as a lime. A lime, I would say on a scale of one to 10, or 10 is a lemon. Lime is like up there. It should be like around a 10. Uh, maybe a little bit less, I guess. But the red lime is, you go down a little bit. I'd say the red lime is maybe uh, an 8. And one thing that you can do with kumquats is eat the rind. You're supposed to just like pop the whole thing in your mouth and usually the rind is sweet. So let's, uh, let's try that. Is it good? The rind is fine. Okay. Huh. Makes sense. If that's got kumquat in it. Because that rind tastes okay. It's a little bit bitter. And maybe like a little bit, a little bit soapy, a little bit, but not bad. Not nearly as much as if you were to like pop a uh, lime um, rind in your mouth. So let's move on to the yellow one. So this one's like halfway between being unripe and ripe. Less flavor, less tartness. Um, but still good, it's just not as powerful. And it has still like a, a limey, kumquaty kind of flavor, but just like down a little bit. Let me try the rind on this one as well. It's still okay. A little bit more bitter, and it tastes a little lemony. I guess the inside tastes a little lemony as well, but um, not as much as the rind. Okay, so let's move on to the final green wedge. 
More sour. Yeah, I'd say it's probably like it's also an eight out of ten. Maybe a little bit more, but I wouldn't yet put it at a nine. A nine, I would say, is going to give me like some pain, and this is not painful to eat. At least for the ones that I have here, it goes less sour when it gets to a yellow stage, and then more sour when it gets to the orange stage. And um, the flavor goes from lime to lemon to lime again. Kind of odd. With the unripe one, I'm getting more lime taste and less kumquat taste. It's still there, but not as much. So I'd say like the, the best one here would definitely be the fully ripe one. Like that one is um, incredible. That's really, really good. I would eat that out of hand if I wanted something, you know, tart. Like I wouldn't be able to eat like a whole lot of it but I could eat that raw. Like, that's that's okay. The rind on the unripe one isn't any good. That's soapier, it's more bitter, and like the pleasant sweet flavor that's in the ripe one doesn't exist in here. It's not it's not sweet yet, it hasn't developed that, that sugar. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Like, the yellow ones I'd give or take, but the uh, the fully ripe ones, like, you can, I guess, like, put that whole thing in your mouth. Well, you wouldn't want to do that because it's full of seeds. But you could, like, theoretically put the whole thing in your mouth and eat that whole thing, like, skin and all, and it would be okay. But, um, yeah, this is really, really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, I'm going to blend it with water, as um, Kimberly and Michael suggested. I'm going to make, like, a little lemonade just with the ones that I cut up already. And I'm not being picky with um, the coloring. I'm using all three in here. And you can see like all these seeds are coming out, so I'm gonna have to strain this. It is quite juicy. Like that's, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I filled it with water and I'm going to put in a teaspoon of sugar. This is gonna be pretty sour. I mean, I, I used three for one tiny glass. I think like, you could probably do well with just one. <laughs> this is probably like three times as sour as it should be, but I don't know. I like, uh, I like tart lemonade, so I think this is good for me. That is really good refreshing, but also complex. It's not like a simple flavor. It's not like limeade. This is like complicated. There's a lot of little flavors in there. It tastes like if you took like a bunch of different citrus fruits and made lemonade out of several. Like if you used limes and kumquats and tangerines and oranges and lemons, like all those different fruits and you squeeze them into a pitcher and made lemonade. That's what you got here. This has got like a really nice, um, deep flavor to it. I'd say like if you want it to be at the same sourness of lemonade, you need twice as much water as I just put there. But you know, it's still much more juice to water in your ratio than if you were to use a lemon, because it's not as sour as a lemon or lime. I have had a hybrid of a lime and a kumquat before. I had something called a lime quat. Although that one was okay, this is like much, much better than that. This is, it tastes similar to that, I guess, but much, uh, much more complicated with the flavor. The lime quat that I had was a little too sour. Like that was like a 10, maybe 11 on sourness. This one is manageable. This one is strong, but it's strong with like good flavors. The lime quat was strong, but it was strong with sourness and acid you know, which is like fine depending what you're using it for, but I think uh, as far as like typical person's uses, you know, eating it raw, making juice out of it, mixing with something, making dessert out of it, this has a lot more value. This one has, uh, and it's just bigger and juicier as well. So this is a really good one. I think this is something that if you wanted to grow citrus would be a good one. So I think that's all I have to say about the red lime. So thank you again, Kimberly and Michael for sending this to me and uh, I'll see you all next time.
Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.